Guys, we hate to leave Deadwood. Oh my gosh, we hate it. Uh, but it's snowing again. <laughs> we're gonna have snow showers today. I'm glad we're getting the heck out of town. <laughs> in the Bullock Hotel and Fairmont and the Gold Dust. We had, everywhere we went, we just had, we just laughed and carried on. We had a great time, didn't we? Yes. It, it was, was awesome. very relaxing. It really was. And just so much fun. Just lots of laughs. Yep. Loved it. Beautiful, look at that.
name is Hannah. Nice Hannah. to meet you, yep. Hannah. Hannah. Fun little story about my life is that I grew up in Thedford, just north of Thedford. Um, my family was the second family to settle there. And so if you look up Lost in the Sand Hills, you can find a cool story about my family. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Family. Awesome. Can you be on film? All right. What's your name? Say hi. And what's your name? My name's Keelani. Oh, oh nice to meet you. Beautiful name. Nice to meet you, And Keelani. you're helping everybody. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's good. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. It's nice to be or um, enjoying some uh, fresh ground beef because the couple of places we went to in Deadwood. I mean, we're talking South Dakota, guys. They got all kind of cattle. They had frozen, frozen patties, frozen bison, and frozen beef. You can tell that's just fresh, it's just fresh ground beef that we're eating today. That's what I love. Guys, y'all better get to the Dak Gone Bunkhouse. Because I don't know how you're going to saddle up if you don't have a good breakfast or a good lunch. Guys, the bunkhouse is great. It was, uh, well, like I said, uh, I had ground beef and mashed potatoes and gravy. You can't beat that. And Tina liked her cheeseburger. But yeah. you know what makes this place really good is Hannah, our server. She was awesome. She was great. And Kaylani, who came visit us, she's that's right, her little helper. Yeah, she's her little helper, <laughs> and great. her mom was awesome. And great place, great stop. And we just found out there's two nice waterfalls that we need to visit, but we're not gonna be able to do that today. On this think. trip, yeah. But we'll come back mm -hmm. see the. Wa I love waterfalls, as you know. Yeah. Coffee in a paper cup. The engine starts right up Clip myself into the middle seat Daddy liked talk radio On gravel he would drive real slow He told me let's go see what we could see We pulled into the empty lot before the pavement got too hot Underneath her leafy crown The only shade for miles and miles around driving through Broken Bow, Nebraska, and lo and behold, there's a place called the Whiskey Barrel. We figured we'd better go on in, and it says, I love their sign out here. Whiskey. Nice. <laughs> so 
some Angels Envy for 50. We got the Russell's Reserve 10 year. Old Fire. Shankies. Tried that. It's, I wasn't too. I mean, it was okay, but I didn't like it. It's a flavored whiskey. There's the Noah's Mill Travelers. We got some Wild Turkey 101. <laughs> Nothing's jumping out at me. What'd they have over here, honey? Anything? Sazerac. Seconds. That's a Canadian whiskey. Hmm. Four girls. I believe that's about it because we're getting into the tequila and the rum. They do have a good bottle of. Pendleton Midnight Whiskey, which is pretty darn good. And on the bottom, they got some Casper <laughs> down here. And we got. Can you help find anything, or are you just looking? We're just, We're just looking. looking. Yeah. All right, so cool little store. Uh, they just had your basic stuff, but. The girl behind the counter was pretty dang awesome, funny, enjoyed that, but we're back on the road. Right here in Hayes, Kansas, uh, the city people hired the renowned gunfighter wild bill hickok and so he became sheriff and about five weeks after he was sheriff there was some lawless guys breaking his laws of like not uh, uh turning over their guns which was the law that uh wild bill had enacted when they entered the city and so when they caused a ruckus refusing to turn over the guns wild bill had to take matters in his own hand. He killed both uh, Samuel Strawhan and Bill Mulvey. So anyway, he ended up a year later, two years later, or whatever it was, 1869, he lost the election and he headed on out and went to Abilene, became sheriff there. Let's hear from Wild Bill in his own words by a reenactor in Deadwood. Landrad, you know? Well, I also noticed a lot of them towns, they didn't have any law in to speak of. Kinda gave me an idea, maybe I should be a lawman. So that's what I did. And I cleaned up a lot of towns across Kansas, places like Fort Riley, Wichita, A City, well, a couple more. Till I ended up in Abilene, Kansas. Now, see, Abilene, it was a rough cattle town. One of the roughest there was. And cattle drives, they'd come through there, bring all sorts of outlaws and ruffians with them. They'd shoot up the town, scare the daylights out of the good folks there just trying to make a life for themselves. The people of Abilene, well, they were more than happy when they heard the great wild Bill Hickok had taken the job as their marshal and was going to clean that place up. I got there, I laid down some new ground rules. Do not bring your guns to town. Certainly don't be shooting them off in city limits. But there was this guy, there's always this guy, right? Yeah, fella by the name of Phil Coe. Bill, he was a Texas cattleman. He bought a bar there in Abilene, and I guess he had a little problem with my authority. See, I was a marshal. I laid down the rules, and I enforced them. And Phil, he didn't want to follow the rules. 
He just wanted to argue with me about them all the time. Day in, day out, every day was something new with that guy. And, well, I think we all know how them arguments is going to turn out. They're going to come to a head someday, and this one was no different. See, I'm sitting in the saloon early one evening, you know, having a drink, minding my own business, winding down from a long day's work, and I hear this ruckus in the street. People are screaming and hollering, guns are going off everywhere. I run outside to investigate. And who is it? It's Bill Coe and all his friends shooting up the town, scaring everybody. Looks like Davis, I yelled at him to knock it off too, but he didn't want to listen either. Pretty soon we got this big shouting match going on and, well, Bill reaches for his pistol. Big mistake. I'm quicker, I saw him reach for his, reached for mine, drew first, bam, shot him dead right there. But, like I said, he had all those friends with him. And they all had guns too. So I'm by myself, I'm on the defensive. I looked up at them all and I yelled, who wants the rest of these? Nobody said a word. Till I heard somebody yell my name from back in the alley, I turned quick shot again. Oh, I shot my deputy, Mike Williams. I shot my friend, my deputy. It's, that was a bad day. Well, I didn't much want to be a lawman anymore after that. So I gave it up. And I moved on. There, from there, he was ended up heading towards Deadwood because he was distraught and probably not very happy. And he liked to gamble, so that's what he ended up doing a lot of, gambling. But he ended up in Deadwood. <laughs> We're going to go check it out. It's late, I'm sleepy, but we saw this place and we got to check it out. Never seen that before. 83. What do we got, buddy? A doghouse for you. Ooh, a doghouse for you. That's cool. Um, that's our own blend. I have, if you'd like to try a sample, I can give you a sample. Oh, you know? Uh, there's Elijah Craig Barrel Three. Is that the A? That's the A124. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I like it. I'm not, I'm not probably going to get the all the Elijah Cranes this year. I got the heaven. You good stuff. That's what I should. <laughs> Pretty darn good, good price. price. 46 bucks. And we got Red Line. Never heard of Red Line. Distilled in Indiana. Hmm. Let me know if you guys have know anything about red line of course i don't know if i'll ever see it again because we're in kansas right now right oh wow that's a great price for 1920 wow and 1910 that's great stuff wow all these 21 for old forester 80 100 proof? That's 100 proof. Yeah. Well, they got $24.99. Man, there. $24.99 on the Weller. Yeah, that's a good price. Dang. Well, they got mixtures here. The American blend, unblended American whiskey. Very cool. Oh, there's that Von Payne black. I saw that somewhere else. <laughs> They've got a Russell single barrel. And that's a good price, 60 bucks. Oil, fire, rye whiskey, and liqueur. Oh, hmm. wow. Interesting. A couple of ten years. Ten years. Ten years later. I think it's really interesting that they have their own store pick here. Yeah. 
But, gosh, we have so many Maker's Marks. I, I don't know if I can stand another yeah. blend of staves right now. We just have so much, seriously. Yes, we do. We have to get through some of those before we can venture out and get more. <laughs> the hauling station. Fountain. I mean, seriously. Okay, guys. I've never, I hadn't seen this Jim Beam Black. That's a cool bottle, good label, and we're gonna get it. Yeah, reasonable price. And it's, what is it? 25 bucks, so we're gonna try it. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call Why didn't you 